So the lovely Tashina Arnold asked the question, what can black men do in America to protect the black woman in America? Now, this is a lovely question. I have no problem answering it. But before I do, I want to give a quick analyst from Ms. Shahrazad Ali concerning the basis of protecting black women. A lot of our women don't want to be protected. <clears throat> you can't protect them whether anybody bothers you alone. Sometimes we try to protect our women from a bad idea. She don't want no protection. So there's no situation where a man that don't know a woman can walk down the street and see somebody doing something to her and automatically just jump in. <clears throat> So that has to be an individual choice, and it has to be a situation where the woman is in order, not out there cussing, jumping up in men's face, screaming and hollering, acting a fool, trying to act like she a man, and then when some other man deal with her like she a man, then she want you to jump in and save her. So with this in mind, for me, I protect black women by protecting the women within my inner circle, within my family, the women that I care about, and I look out for them in terms of not only who they are, not only their physical uh, well-being, but their mental and their spiritual and emotional well-being as well. I'm not obligated to look out for anybody outside of my circle and outside of my family. I personally would not put myself in harm's way for somebody that I don't know when I have family and friends and, and other people who depend upon me. Another way in which I protect black women in America, and this might be more general than just in my inner circle, is that I want to promote a positive image of the black woman. For the most part, 90% of the time when you see a woman on my page, she will be black and she will have natural hair. And in most cases, she will have a good head on her shoulders. Another way in which I protect black women is that I do not promote any imagery of, of the rainbow stuff and the cross dressing and stuff like that, because that's mocking womanhood. That's mocking uh, and, and for the most part, these people who be cross-dressed and be trying to act like black women. So what, what do I look like even trying to advocate or promote something that is mocking black women? Another way in which I protect black women is that I am able to talk about black women in a way that is positive and that I, I am able to decipher the good women from the femme fatales and the thought boss of this world. And I don't go about going around talking about modern day women. Because there's just as many good black women in this day and age as there were a hundred years ago. The only difference is that most of them don't have social media. Most of them don't have a big platform because most of the toxic stuff goes viral. So don't let the media and what you see on social media be your outlet for what you think is black love and what you think is black men or black women. These women out here who say protect black women, it's amazing that you say you want to protect black women, but you you don't want to go... To the extreme measures you don't want to go all the way and protect black women you don't want to protect the image of black women because i would think that if you want to protect something and preserve something you at least have to make it look good right if there's a box and you tell me like there's only some some lint in the box i don't give a about the box much less what's in the box but if you tell me in the box there's 10 million dollars worth of diamonds and, and gold in there nigga I'm preserving the box. <laughs> so you got to look at it as if I don't see value in in black women, if I don't see value in the image of black women, what makes me think that I want to protect black women or preserve black women? So now you got to look at what you're advertising and what you put on social media. You can't say you want black men to protect black women. You can't say... You want people to look out for black women and then go out of your way and make yourself look foolish. Much less having men out here try to be you and look like you. And you, you're contributing to it. And that's that's the whole basis of, of Tashina's tweet. You know, how can you stop aiding in the emasculation of black men? Do you have men around you in your circle who are trying to act like women? Do you have men in your circle who are trying to wear your eyelashes and trying to wear your high heels and you y'all going makeup shopping and all this other type of stuff? Who do you have in your circle? Who do you be supporting out here? And and I've seen I've seen, I've seen a pattern of of a lot of black women, especially back in high school. Black women would love to be around these. Hey. Squad